Assalamualaikum students. Welcome to Soil Microbiology Lecture Series. In this lecture, we will study about ecology and interactions of microorganisms in soil. The most important, you will see some questions related to this topic at the end of this lecture. So first, what is ecology? It is the science that studies interactions between organisms and their environment. If we look at the figure, here you can see the living organisms with same species and other species, they can interact with each other and finally they will interact with their environment. So now what is soil ecology? Soil ecology is the study of interactions among soil microbes and between biotic and abiotic factors in soil environment. The microbial ecosystem is the sum of the biotic and abiotic components of soil. It includes the total microbial flora together with the physical composition and physical characteristics of the soil. The microorganisms that inhabit the soil exhibit many different types of interactions or associations and these interactions of microbes in, in soil are divided into different interactions such as neutral interactions, positive interactions and negative interactions. Now let's we talk about the neutral interaction or association. It is the interaction type between microorganisms where two different species of microorganisms occupy the same environment without affecting each other. Neutral interaction might be transitory as the environmental conditions change such as nutrient deficiency then this relationship may be shifted into other types of the relationships. Positive interaction or association. This type of interaction is divided into three types such as mutualism also called as symbiosis and other one is commensalism and proto cooperation. So if we talk about mutualism means it is a symbiotic relationship between two organisms in which each organism benefits from relationship. Syntrophism or syntrophy is one kind of symbiotic relationship in which two different species exchange or transfer of nutrients. An example of symbiotism is the association between blue-green algae and fungus. The association between mycorrhizae and primary producers is the best example of symbiosis in which primary producers such as plants give organic matter and mycorrhizae give mineral nutrients. Now commensalism. Commensalism is an association or relationship in which one group or species is benefited while the other is not affected. Commensalism mostly found in soil with respect to degradation of complex molecules like as cellulose and lignin. Example of this type of relationship found in many soil fungi which can degrade cellulose to glucose. This product is utilized by many soil bacteria which are unable to degrade cellulose and only they can utilize fungal breakdown products such as glucose and other organic acids. Now proto cooperation. Proto cooperation is a mutually beneficial association between two species but they do not depend on each other for survival. An example of proto cooperation happens between soil bacteria, fungi and the plants that occur growing in soil. None of these species rely on the relationship for survival but all of the fungi, bacteria and higher plants take part in shaping soil composition 
and fertility. Negative interactions. Negative interactions are divided into four different types such as antagonism, competition, parasitism, and predation. Now antagonism. In this type of interaction or relationship, one species is inhibited or adversely affected by an other species in the same environment. In this condition, several types of microorganisms produce antibiotics or other inhibitory substances which affect the normal growth of other microorganisms. Antagonistic relations are the most common in nature. An example of antagonism is found between Staphylococcus RS and Pseudomonas aeruginosa towards fungi such as Aspergillus teres. Pseudomonas pigments inhibit the germination of Aspergillus spores while Staphylococcus aureus produces antifungal agents that are responsible for distortions and hyphal swellings in Aspergillus fungi. Now competition. Since soil is full of various types of microorganisms, this is the reason these microorganisms exhibit competition among themselves for space and nutrients. In this situation, the dominant microorganisms will eliminate the others. For example, exogenous nutrients are required for the germination of climatospores of fungi, particularly fusarium fungi in soil. But some of the other fungi and bacteria eat up or diminish these essential nutrients required for spore germination. In this way, they hinder spore germination of fusarium fungi and resulting decrease in population of fusarium fungi in soil. Moreover, some soil bacteria compete for space and suppress the growth of fungi in soil. An example of competition for limited nutrient is interspecific competition and intraspecific competition. If you look at the figure, you can see both interspecific and intraspecific competition. First, the species 1 will compete with species 2 and this is called as the interspecific competition. But when the nutrients will be more limited, then these species or the members of the same species will compete with each other and this is the intraspecific competition. Now, parasitism. Parasitism is the non-mutual relationship between two organisms in which one organism lives in or on another organism and may also harm that one. Parasites can be classified as ectoparasites and endoparasites based on attachment with host. The parasite is dependent upon the host and feeds on the cells, tissues or fluids of the host organism. Several types of parasites consisting of fungi, protozoa and nematodes are found in soil. Predation It is an association in which predator organism directly feed and kills the prey organism. Predators may or may not kill their prey prior to feeding on them, but predation always results in death of its prey and the absorption of the prey's tissue through consumption. Several species of soil inhabitant myxobacteria, also called as slime bacteria, are known as predators of other microbes 
an example of myxobacterial species such as myxococcus xanthus exhibit different characteristics including fruiting body formation and spore formation with motility and group predation on both bacteria and fungi myxobacteria use gliding motility to search the soil matrix for prey and produce a wide range of antibiotics and lighting compounds that kill and decompose prey cells moreover some fungi such as nematophagus fungi are the best predatory soil fungi the term nematophagy means eating of nematodes by fungi nematophagus fungi are also obligate parasites of nematodes however majority of these fungi are facultative saprophytes nematophagus fungi are used for biological control of plant parasitic nematodes and these type of the fungi are also called as carnivorous fungi because they trap and digest the nematodes there are several species of the nematophagus fungi the most common species is the pestilomyces species which are considered as the best nematophagus fungi Thank you.